Hey, do you like to travel? Well, me too, but we can't do that right now. Unfortunately, the world is on a pause. But eventually, all of this will clear up and we will be able to go travel again. So I compiled a list of 10 of some of my favorite places to travel after quarantine. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's jump right into it. Starting with number 10, Montenegro. This past summer, I spent a few days on the coast of Montenegro and whoa, it is beautiful. One of my favorite parts about this area was hiking up to Kator Fortress. The landscape around there is seriously outstanding. With the huge mountains overlooking the bay, it's an incredible sight to see. Kator is a small, old, medieval town, and walking around these streets, I felt like I took a time machine back hundreds of years ago. And if you visit the coast of Montenegro, you definitely have to explore some of the water. You can take a boat out on a tour, there's amazing things to explore like caves, and the water is crystal clear. We spent a night in the area called Lushtica. Yes. Well, what's the name of the whole area? A uh, whole area? This is peninsula calling Lushtica Peninsula. Lushtica. Yes, yes. <laughs> the whole area is Lushtica. Yes, cool. yes Lushtica. Okay, it's good pronunciation. Okay, I get approval. Yeah, good. good, good, good. We caught an epic sunset in this very peaceful, quiet neighborhood right on the water. Simply amazing. Next up, we have Kawasan Falls, located in the Philippines on the island of Cebu in the south in a town called Badian. So it's not really the waterfall that I'm most impressed with. What I really love is this epic adventure they call canyoneering, where it's basically a combination of hiking and swimming and jumping off cliffs, eventually making your way to the grand big jump, which is Kawasan Falls. But just the adventure getting there is the fun part. You're exploring through this dense jungle and the water is just so blue, it doesn't even look real. Ugh. If you go to the Philippines, I would highly recommend canyoneering at Kawasan Falls. Number eight, or should I say numero ocho, San Gil, Colombia. This is the extreme outdoor activity capital of Colombia. whitewater rafting to bungee jumping and canyoning down waterfalls. I was only here for a short time, so I only experienced paragliding, which was an incredible adventure, and I definitely want to go back to experience more. It is so beautiful out here. Oh my goodness, the views. Oh, the views. Woohoo! Ah, oh. yeah, that's nice. Number seven, Kwangsi Falls. One of the most iconic waterfalls in Southeast Asia. It's located in the country of Laos, about one hour outside of the very popular backpacker town of Luang Prabang. With the vibrant blue color of this water, it just looks like a fantasy. There's multiple different tiers of pools and you can go swimming in the bottom and you can even hike all the way to the top to get an outstanding view of the entire jungle. And since it's so popular, a lot of people know about it and a lot of people want to go here. We went as early as possible and we were the first ones for about 15 minutes and it slowly started filling up and by the time we left, it was jam-packed with people. So I would definitely recommend getting here early. Number six, Monument Valley. This one in my home country of the United States of America. It's located on the Arizona-Utah border inside the territory of the Navajo Nation Reserve. Iconic for its towering red sandstone formation called Buttes. This one area became a symbol of the American West as any movie to portray any type of Western scene would typically feature this as the background. US Highway 163 runs right through here and this is very well known because it's where Forrest Gump ended his famous run across America. But the reason I love this area so much is because I had the opportunity to spend a night camping inside of Monument Valley which is restricted unless you have super exclusive permission. Well, not really. You can go with a company that organizes tours to go in there and I did that with my buddy, The Traveling Clat, and we spent a night camping with a company called Navajo Spirit Tours, which I highly recommend you check out if you go to Monument Valley. 
By the way, every location I've mentioned so far and will continue to mention, I have full videos documenting way more information about what it's like. So if you're interested in any particular location, links will be in the description. Check it out. Number five, Tumpak Seu. Located in Indonesia on the island of Java, this beast of a waterfall is so amazing. It's a spot where you can get a viewpoint from the top and even hike all the way down, which, fair warning, if you go here, hiking down, you will get wet. It's a pretty adventurous trail, but it's pretty cool. And when you get down to the bottom, oh my goodness, it's like seriously being in some type of fairy tale movie. I shared a whole series about a road trip I did around East Java last year, which features some more incredible places. The island of Java and Indonesia in general, it just, it feels like traveling around Jurassic Park. It's insane. If you're interested in hiking volcanoes and epic waterfalls, definitely check out my series from East Java. Number four, Shargao Island. This palm tree jungle beach paradise is one of the 7,000 islands that make up the beautiful nation of the Philippines. With the popular surf town of General Luna being a hub for backpackers, this is one of the quickest growing tourist destinations in Southeast Asia. Some great things to do around here include surfing. This is the surfing capital of the Philippines. So whether you're experienced and come with your own board or looking to rent one, there's plenty of places to find. And even for beginners who have no experience, it's a great place to learn as there are so many talented surfers who are instructors and can give you some great lessons. So anybody can learn here. Some of the most popular activities include island hopping boat tours, where you visit some nearby areas and islands that are incredibly beautiful. But one of my favorite things to do is just explore the island by motorbike. You can rent some wheels for a few dollars a day and just go out and explore. There's pretty well-paved roads to get around and there's also some not as well-paved roads if you're up for an adventure. <laughs> All right, now we're down to our top three. Real quick, if you're still watching, do me a favor, just click that like button. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and let's get into it. Top three, here we go. Number three, B35. This one is just a road, but not any ordinary road. It's located on the lovely island of Sri Lanka near Yala National Park. And since it runs right through a national park, it's known for having elephants come up to the road. Now I do just want to mention that it's not a natural occurrence that these elephants just happen to be hanging out on the road. They go here because they're used to people feeding them. Do I agree with that? No. I don't think it's very good to feed wild animals, especially in this case. Now these enormous wild elephants are coming to the road and sometimes obstructing traffic and it's dangerous for both humans and the animals. Now with that being said, it is incredible to see a wild elephant in person with no fence, no restriction. It's exhilarating, it's exciting, so it attracts many people. And just one final disclaimer, if you decide to come here, do not stop your vehicle, keep driving, and definitely don't get out of your vehicle. These are wild elephants and they are not looking for a hug. They're looking for some food and they'll do anything to get it. So be careful. Here we go. Number two, Ha Giang, Vietnam. Woo, the views. So Ha Giang happens to be the starting point for what's called the Ha Giang Loop. It's where travelers come, they rent motorbikes, and they ride through the mountainous, incredible, most amazing landscapes in the world. It's a multiple day trip where you stop in little villages in Northern Vietnam, and oh baby, the views. 
Every time I would drive around a new curve, I would look and just be astonished by this crazy mountain landscape and I would just think to myself, whoa, it can't get any better than this. And then a little bit later, I turn another corner and go, what? It got better. <laughs> I did this when I first started traveling and it's still one of my favorite experiences. Highly, highly recommend to anyone interested in renting a motorbike and driving around northern Vietnam. All right, so I had a little difficulty picking number one. There's still so many other places that I love that didn't fit this list, but here we go. Number one, are you ready? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Terona National Park, or Parque Terona. Located in Colombia on the Caribbean coast, this is where the dense, thriving jungle meets the ocean. So you have the beach and the jungle together. It's insane. I arrived here with my buddy Austin and we hiked through the jungle for two hours to get to our location. And I'm not complaining when I say hiking two hours. It was amazing. There's monkeys jumping around and types of animals I didn't even know existed. Eventually we arrived at this location called Cabo San Juan, which has tents and hammocks on the beach to sleep in. Not the most luxurious sleeping arrangements, but definitely an outstanding location. We spent a few days here and on our last night, we had the opportunity to sleep in a hammock in a cabana right on the beach. Parque Terona is uh, amazing. Such a great place to explore, adventure. Again, just where the ocean meets the jungle so you can go hiking and go swimming. Amazing. Also, just a quick note, my friend Austin just shared an epic cinematic video of our entire trip along the coast of Colombia. As always, link is in the description. Check it out. So out of all those places, which one would you be most interested in visiting? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below. And again, make sure to subscribe if you're not already because this video is over, but there's more coming soon. So I'll see you then. Peace.